Terry Jacobson, Paperly People. So today we are doing something that is one of my all-time favorite things to do. And we're doing SEO, and this is for Etsy, my Etsy store. Um, so I have a really cool Etsy store, it's Paperly People. But this is about um, doing research to figure out what keyword you want to rank for. And I want to rank for like business planner, business calendar, come to find out I want to rank for business organizer. But so what I did was um, I made a worksheet so that I could fill out all the parts of doing the search and searching for my competitors and doing all those things. And then kind of once you see it up, so, so I'll show you my search, I, search searches I do. And so then I write it all down and I highlight keywords. You'll see some of them. I think the blue ones are categories and the yellow ones are tags and, and all that stuff. And so what happens is as you get all the data in one place on that, and for me, as I'm writing it down, it actually makes me recognize it and start to get it in my brain. So if you're not a paper person, paperly people may not be for you. But if you, if you do fill out this form, you will be able to see more of what's going on. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to do my search for business planner. Business planner. Ah, oh, see, business planner. It knows I search for that because that's one of the keywords that I'm trying to rank for. So I would just put business planner right up here in keyword. I have one for business planner. I have one for business calendar. I have one for um, that I'm working on right now for actually Etsy C SEO because I have this form I'm selling on Etsy, right? So to start, you're just going to go with the total results. So total results are 1583 goes right there. Shops competing 58 total views 26, 226,000 views per week. And you're just going to fill those in right here. Okay. And then I like to see what materials they're made of. So I, I write down the top three materials that are relevant to me, right? So PDF is relevant to me. Printable is relevant to me. I'm a digital file. Black and white is not relevant to me. What they're saying is that it's, it, well, I guess it could be for black and white printing. Digital download is actually a good one. Instant download is a really good one for me too. They don't say how many materials you can have, I don't think. So use the ones that are appropriate. If you see something like this and you think, oh, I have four PDF, printable, digital, P did instant download, I would maybe, you know, try to get a couple of those, but I write down the top three, honestly. And then I want to look at the categories. And the neat thing is, I don't know if it'll do this while I'm on the, there it goes, uh, but it'll pop that out. So, so the place that this should be is under paper goods calendars, 37 people. You could also just do it under paper goods. And you know how that is in Etsy when you um, get to choose your category, you can either keep going out or you can just go to one. So I write down the top five of those. So I just really kind of want to know. Um, I looked at the everything else graphic design, and that was just a nut mishmash. So you kind of really want to pick either the top one or two, whichever one's the most appropriate for your product, right? That's the most important thing. You can get all this data and you can look at this. And if it's not like your product, even though you pick this keyword, it doesn't matter because it's actually, um, you know, you aren't going to sell any if, if it's not what they're looking for, right? So that's just crazy talk. All right. So then the next thing that I do is I come down here and... I see the the total res total views right there total views I write all that down and then I scooch down here I'm not really a chart kind of girl I don't really actually know what those mean they seem lovely though and the the gentleman that run the the marmalade seem to think that this is wicked cool so so I guess I should have mentioned that at the start I am using marmalade to do this um, it's in the listing so you probably know this is there's a free version and all the stuff that I've shown you thus far is in the free version so it's not that you can't use it um, if you don't pay for it so it's really wicked cool I love them um, okay so then what I do is I write down my top tags so top 10 tags 
this is overall, right? So this is kind of the overall stuff. Uh, business planner, printable planner, planner, small business. That was a good one for me. I thought, oh, small business. I forgot about that. Etsy planner. I don't think it's an Etsy planner. So I don't use all these, right? I have other keywords I rank for that I know from my Etsy listing. And so I kind of use a nice mix of the ones that are going to be really popular and help me. And then the ones that I actually um, use in my business. So that's excellent. You want to, I can't teach you exactly how to do this. You're going to have to do some. And what you'll start to see is as you go along, you'll start to see themes. So printable planner is one of the themes that comes up a lot. So I know that I really should have that either in my title or my tags, right? All right. Then next I went to my listing and this, you do have to, um, have, have, uh, the upgraded version to do this, but you can go to your listing. You know, you know this, you can go get your own data, right? Um, okay. So for me, I went and I put what the entire name of my listing is. Now I know this, right? But I wanted to write it down because I want to compare it to everything else. Um, and this is updated because I fixed it. I'm on page one now. Yay. I'm so happy about that. Okay. So, so you're going to write down your name the price of the product. So mine is $7 because it's three things. Now for business planners, let's go look. This is just stuff you can look at. Um, oh, this is all mine. We'd have to go back to the regular one, but you'll have it all written down so you can look at it. You can see, are you high? Are you low? If you're way lower, like I'm way lower than the, all the other business planners. So I was like, what's going on? Well, they have hundred, they have like 50 pages and I have three. So mine really is more of a business calendar, right? All right, these are my tags used. I wouldn't really write those down. Um, but you want to see here the percentage of feedback, uh, weekly views. So you fill in what you can, right? And then you're going to have to leave mar marmalade. marmalade. And you're, you're going to have to go to the listing because some of this stuff they don't have in their data. They're awesome, but they don't have everything. So then you're going to want to have feedback. That's where you get it. Feedback, favorites, right? Right there. Okay. And then you have to go to the actual shop and you're going to get your number of sales. So you want to take a peek at the number of sales. I like knowing how many products they have in their shop. I feel like, and I shouldn't, you have to go back up. should remember to get that. Um, I feel like if they have a thousand products and they're doing great and I have 16, then obviously one of my answers to sell more is to have more products, right? I mean, like that's, some of this stuff is just going to be really, really common sensey. Um, how many sales they've had, how many sales I've had. So uh, you're going to do this for your listing and then all the competitors listings. How many admirers? So I have 33 admirers. That's awesome. I love them. Um, and then you're going to go back to Marmalade and get your views per week, views per week, 51, um, favorites, all that. And then what you want to do is um, you want to do this three more times for the top three listings. And you're going to find those guys right here. So this is awesome. If you don't have Marmalade, you can do this using, um, you know, Etsy. Just do searches. It's just going to be a lot harder. And I couldn't find a way to find this data um, just easily. So I would use marmalade. Okay. So 30 per, that is a good one. I looked at that one. So let's go look real quick. It's not exactly like mine. Mine is more of a calendar and this is a planner, but I thought, oh, I'll look at that. And this is where I think I found small business, which was awesome. And, and they're really fun because they say Etsy business planner, but mine isn't an Etsy business planner. It's for anybody right? This is an Etsy SEO, not, not for everybody. Okay. So then you're going to do, don't forget, you're going to write down your shop name. You're going to write down the competing listings, the price. So this is 840. That seems really, really like a good deal. God bless them. Um, and then you're going to come back back here and you're going to do the research you can do, um, which is going to be your 72 items. So they have a lot more items than me. you if you're new like me, I'm relatively new. I've been doing it month, month and a half, something like that. And, you know, if I'm thinking about my 
30 some sales or 20 some sales compared to their 10,000 sales. Um, they've been open for three years and I've been open for three minutes, right? So don't compare yourself to them. This isn't to compare yourself to them in a bad way and to feel bad about your shop. This is more to compare yourself and see like, can I really compete with them? So instead of trying to compete with them for uh, just business planner, I would use a longer tail keyword like small business planner, which they're probably doing too. They seem very, very good at this. Um, small business planner and then go long tail. In, my, in the um, getting started document, you'll see that there is actually, you know, should you do dog beds or should you do big dog beds? Um, if you're, if you're trying to compete and trying to start ranking higher, it would be a lot better to really start with big dog beds. Of course, dog beds is in there, right? You're not going to lose that smaller term, but as you go long tail, meaning you have a longer keyword phrase, you have more of a chance of ranking highly. And then once you start ranking highly, oh, they're number four for, for small business planner. So they're not as good at that phrase. Um, and I don't think, yeah, I'm not in here on the first page at all. So that's how you do it. There's one more really cool thing that I didn't really put in the getting started document because it's humongous already. But the one thing that I like to do is, um, and this is more for writing your listings. So this will be in another video too. Um, but this is to see what their reviews are. And you can just really write those down as comments because you want to see perfect printed straight away um love the bill section so if i was thinking about making some planners i might want to do a bill section or if i don't have a bill section um she has editable she's you know they they can edit they can't edit mine so that's not um wouldn't be helpful so useful so so people are saying it's useful so i may in my um listing description want to say useful helpful easy to use um let's see what other words she has very easy process okay so one of the things that they're really seeming like they are happy about which means they had a concern about is that it's going to be hard to download right so in your listing you may want to say this is a super easy pdf download you will get you know you'll get a a walkthrough guide, you know, whatever you can do to make them feel better because it's obvious that they um, were nervous about that. Now this, she says this is super cute. Mine is more for business than for pleasure. So um, I'm not going for super cute. So that isn't something I would write down ever. Um, so hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Paperly People. And do not forget, you can always email me if you have a question. It's Tara at marketingartfully.com. That's Tara, T-A-R-A, at marketingartfully.com, M-A-R-K-E-T-I-N-G-A-R-T-F-U-L-L-Y.com.